Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. Okay, so this will be a four card oracle. You pick one, two, three, or four, yes, no, or maybe. Get your questions in your set in your mind. And then we'll do a diagonal cross um, finish on each of those to further define the meaning in the um, cards. So yes, no, or maybe, four cards. I'll pull them out right now. And we'll start the show. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you'll pick a card, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you stop the tape if you need to, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. And okay, now we'll reveal them, choose number one, this is the page of wands. So wands are actions, they're plans, and the page is bringing this uh, idea forward. So he's a very weak uh, message, so that it is a message of some sort of a plan or an action uh, that uh, should come forward, and that's a yes card. Let me jot that down. Yes. So if you chose number two, okay. This is the seven of pentacles. Pentacles are of value, they're worth. Sometimes it's money. And uh, this person is looking back at these, these, these harvest and have I done enough? Uh, is, this, is this all it should take right now? So this is some indecision. This is um, understanding that uh, you've done something uh, useful and fruitful and you're just not sure if you're taking it as far as it should go or if it's time to go ahead and use some of that. So that's um, a yes card also, but a little less, you know, a little less strong. Chose number three. This is temperance. So this is uh, cups, and this is emotions. This is uh, you know heartfelt situations and finding the balance in that. And this is also a yes, but of course, you know, with compassion. If you chose number four, so this is the Empress, and this is the uh, third card that the Fool meets on his journey. You know, the Fool is number zero, then he meets number one, the Magician, then he meets number two, the High Priestess, and then number three, the Empress, who almost is Mother Earth. I mean, look at her. She's really fruitful. Uh, she's uh, They're about to come up to number four, which is the Emperor. So her world is complete and fine and abundant, and she's ready to uh, make things go. So this is a great big yes of encouragement. So all yes cards of varying degrees. Okay. So if this was yours, the signifier then is this page of wands, a message of an action or a plan, the beginnings of something uh, along those lines. Um, so it's just the start and it's just an idea. So it's just a spark. And um, so that's what we've got right here with this page. But we need five more cards to finish that divination. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Put these aside to work on those cards and we'll see what challenge we have for this uh, spark. Uh, the Queen of Swords. So, you know, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, Law, this is Strength. Queen is is um, certainly um, going to make something happen. So the challenge to this idea is perhaps uh, pushing it forward into something too soon. Uh, the base of this reading uh, with the moon, secrets being revealed. So this whole thing may have started from some sort of a development, some sort of a, an initiation where all the information started to come out. And uh, it, this may not be the first idea that you want to take. Uh, it might be worth looking and seeing what else comes out. In the past of this reading with the magician, funny I just mentioned him. And so, yeah, again, having all the tools that you need to, to make a thing happen. So don't um, feel as if this, this is your only chance. In the sky of this reading with the Knight of Swords, so he's working right along with that queen uh, to uh, make this happen. When the court, real court gives this knight uh, uh, um, a task, uh, he's going to uh, make it come true um, because that's his reputation. And that's what you're aiming for. And then the sky, this, uh, the final outcome of this, with the Six of Cups, 
cups, again, cups of compassion and heartfelt uh, feelings and uh, hearkening back to some time when there, it was more fruitful, when things were better, maybe when things were simpler. So this is a cautious yes. Um, be careful uh, how you move forward, but understand once you do start moving forward, that decision is going to be made. And um, you, you may wish, uh, with this looking back, you may, might wish you had done things a little bit differently. So take your time. Okay, number two. Get these back into the pack. That's the one you chose. So this is a seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles, really? Uh, listen, we've had a crop here. We've got something to choose from. We can take a little bit now. Um, could we have made it more? I don't know. It looks like it's a pretty good job to me. So the seven of pentacles, you know, value, I mean, that's the kind of problem that you want to have. You've, you've, you've raised a good crop. You've made something happen. Something has been created. And you're wondering, did it do enough? Or is this, you know, you've got something to work with. You've already created something, so you've won the battle. But uh, the five more cards to finish that out. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Have that work there these five cards ready. The challenge to this uh, uncertainty is um, the King of Pentacles. Well, yeah, you should be confident. You know, you've, it is, in fact, everything that it needs to be. The base of this reading, then, with the Fool, is uh, having started out on this journey, not sure what that means. It could be that this is a new uh, cycle that you're coming into. And with this uh, past long-term planning, you should feel like uh, whatever this is, uh, it can last. In the sky of this reading, with this uh, Six of Swords, you know, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, Law, this is moving out of trouble. And so uh, we always want to make sure that we take a path that is going to uh, keep us in line with all those four things. And then the likely outcome with this Yes card is, is an even better Yes card. It's the Ten of, uh, of Cups. And this is absolutely happy family, really everything coming true, uh, everything you'd want uh, to have in, in an emotional way, at least. So, you know, it's a great big Yes. A little explanation there. So that's good. Okay, so now we'll go on the number three card. Okay, and that is temperance. So getting a ba finding a balance. Um, it's an emotional situation that we want to consider, um, you know, the long-term effects of this beyond just this one uh, decision. But, uh, yeah, finding a temperance is the key to this decision. But it's a yes decision. Now go ahead. Uh, just uh, let's look at this aspect of what you're deal dealing with. Is there, there fairness? Is there balance to what's happening in this thing somehow? So five cards. This is one, two three, four, and five. Okay. Last card there. We'll see what the challenge is to that signifier of temperance. Uh, that is, ah, hang man. Yeah, taking a look at something from another uh, angle, uh, giving some perspective. Uh, the three of coins, coins are value. And so this is absolutely, uh, but, you know, I always say this is um, building something up for public display. You know, so you've got your cohorts here. Uh, in this collaboration, and um, so yeah, this started should, should uh, be the seed of some sort of pride, of wanting something that will be nice in the end. In the uh, past, of this reading, the emperor is really, you know, really completely empowered uh, to get this thing done. Uh, the sky uh, with justice, um, so that's interesting. So certainly, that's what you want to. It's funny this talk about temperance and justice at the same time. Those seem a little bit in the same uh, schoolhouse to me, and then. Um, in the final outcome of this with this King of Cups. So it starts out uh, trying to balance that uh, emotion and it ends up being this King of Cups who has, in fact, conquered uh, that issue. So nice, another nice, uh, gentle, uh, forward-moving yes. With a lot of condition. Okay, number three. And the last one. That's what you chose, number four. Okay. Same fire card here is the Empress. Fruitful abundance. There's really no reason uh, to hesitate. Okay, this is this is going to happen. You know, this looks promising. Five cards. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. 
done with those. The challenge to this fruitful empress. Ah, oh, it's the end. It's the end of a cycle. So this is done. It's too late. Um, the the um, base of this, this is yes, this was a yes card. Uh, the base of this reading, it just reinforces that, that it was coming to an end, and in fact it did end. Interesting. So, I mean, a complete stop. The past of this reading, well, it was uh, this nine of wands, which are uh, challenges, uh, plans, or, or actions. Uh, and certainly, uh, the, the, this fellow has, is a battle. So, it looks like this whole thing um, was a hard fought um, uh, situation. And uh, even though this is a yes, understand that this is the end of this. Whatever it is, yes, let's, let's get this done, let's finish this, and move on to something else. And the sky this reading is the sun really shining a light on uh, the issue here, and uh, or at least on the understanding of what, that you can or what you should do. And then the, uh, okay, this is nice, final outcome with the lovers. Uh, so this is, you know, finding just the right, the perfect union uh, to make this happen exactly the way it does, and also kind of portends a new start to something else after this death card. So nice, nice reading. But it's a very strong uh, reading, yes. Yes, this is it, but guess what? This is the end, okay? Something beautiful is going to come after that. Very interesting reading. So that's the four cards today, and I hope you got some information out of that that was useful. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.